we're headed to Florence. So I accidentally booked um, a private cart for us on the train, which is not a bad thing. Um, get a very luxurious Italian um, kind of journey. So yeah, we got like a little private cart and then, um, so we'll see you in Florence. So we just checked into our hotel in Florence and it is a stunning room. So let me show you around. Okay, so this is a gorgeous room. I have to say like, it's one of the most beautiful ones I've seen. Um, so this is our room, very, very spacious. Um, and it overlooks some of Florence, which is so, so amazing. And then this is where we're gonna be staying for the next couple of nights. I mean, look at this stunning room. The mirrors makes the space look so much bigger. And we have a balcony where we can see what is going on outside Florence and the hustle and bustle. Um, and then, yes, this is so cozy, so cute. We got a little sitting area. And let me show you the bathroom because the bathroom is so stunning. And then this is our wardrobe. Like, I need this. Like, how beautiful is this? It's so cute. So this apparently is a newer um, build or they newly re renovated these spaces. So I just love the bathroom so much. Like look at the stonework and the bathroom. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God, I love it. And then the bathroom here and I've got the bidet. But it's just all the mirror detailing just makes a room so much bigger and spacious. And it's just so, such a dream. And let me show you the closet because it's pink on the inside and so cute. So let me pull open this and it's pink and girly and it is just the most aesthetically pleasing dream ever. So super excited to spend the next couple of nights here. And yeah, we'll take you around in Florence in a little bit. Um, I will be, um, we're going out for dinner, so um, that's what's going to happen later, but I know the lighting's not really good here, but let me show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this very cute Jacques Mousse top. I'm wearing an Aritzia um, a cargo skirt, um, and then I have my Prada bag and my Bottega earrings. Um, but just keeping it super cute, super simple. We had a cappuccino over at the Gucci Garden and we had a lot of different sandwiches. So that was fun. Um, so I'm, we're going to rest up a little bit and then I will take you with me to dinner.
we're on our way to Amalfi. Um, yeah, so this morning we took the train. We have our little train cubicle again. And yeah, I'll see you on the other side when it's nice, hot, sunny, and I guess a little bit tropical. So we'll see you then. Good morning, babe. So we just had our first night in Positano um, and we're staying at an Airbnb, which is like super dainty, super cute. And like within like five minutes from um, La Sponda and like all the hustle and bustle. So I'm hoping that I can show you more around. We went to go grab sunset drinks last night. So um, you'll probably see some of that. And then we went to go get dinner at Terraza Sele, or I, I hope that's how you pronounce it, but I'm probably definitely butchering it. Um, but we went to go grab dinner and it was really romantic and nice. Um, and then today I think we're just gonna wander the town, kind of explore a little bit. We have a sunset boat tour tonight, so that will be interesting and fun and lovely. And we just need to figure out like where all that is. Um, and then we're taking a ferry to Capri tomorrow, so that should be super exciting because there's Dior, Chanel, all the fun stuff over there. So I'll take you with me to go see all of that. And then, yeah, we're just going to explore and I'll sh bring you along with me and let's see how the day looks like. And then when I come back, I want to show you our Airbnb because it has the most spectacular views. And yeah, like it's just so dreamy. So I will show you some of that later on, but let's get going because I need a coffee and maybe some limoncello. So let's get going.
uh, their sirens going off. So I will just pause and let it go before I continue. Okay, it stopped. Um, yeah, so we are, I think, what day is it today? It is day 16 of our honeymoon and it has been super super fun and we have been able to travel around europe at least see the sites in a couple of countries so we're in italy right now and you would have seen some clips of us in positano um so we're still currently in positano right now today is the last day tomorrow we head over to naples and we're gonna spend kind of a day day and a half and then we're traveling back to paris the next day and then we have um, a day or two there and then we're going back home but overall it has been super dreamy honestly I think a trip of a lifetime we have done so many incredible fun things and like honestly bucket list items so we rented a boat um, on, a, on our second day in Positano and we just got to see Positano in golden hour in the sea and just you know that dreamy um aesthetic that we all see on instagram and the reason why um it is pretty much the new iceland is just the sunset views here so we've got to enjoy that quite a few times and we're staying in an airbnb which i think was a good um, move but i mean the stairs if you have been to positano or have heard anything about positano the stairs are okay for the couple of first couple of days i mean i bike a lot so they weren't an issue for me the first little while but then you know after day three day four day five of having to do them every time it is definitely a workout and you know you know it's good because we're eating a lot of pasta and pizza and um you know a bit of cardio doesn't hurt um but um, two days, I think not yesterday, but the day before we went over to Capri. So that was super fun and you would have seen clips of that as well. And Capri is just honestly such a dreamy island. We went to La Fontalina, which honestly, in my opinion, is like the nicest beach club I've seen in this area. We were going to go to one, a private beach club just on the end of Positano. I think it's called like La Scalga. Scalga? I'm definitely butchering that, but... Um, I will um, put the name of it here. Um, we were, I was going to book that, but I'm really glad that I didn't because the same views you can get from the Positano beach, like the main beach. So I'm glad I didn't do that. But like below Fontalina, like the food was absolutely divine. And the views I feel like is unmatchable anywhere. So I think that was such a fantastic place. And if you're ever in Capri, definitely go check it out. It is a bit of a trek, so I would definitely recommend um, bringing comfy shoes to do that climb. Um, I mean, you could rent a boat, but it's, yeah, I think it's more accessible by foot um, and um, not really worth the money to hire a private boat to take you to that restaurant. Cover charge to get in is like 40 euros, which isn't too bad. Um, and then, yeah, you can definitely get lunch there and the food is so good. So definitely worth checking it out um yeah I, today is our last day we're kind of keeping things cozy i caught a couple of mosquito bites and i don't handle them well and i mean i'm kind of tired of the stairs um i was like yeah pretty much like good for cardio for the first couple of days but after a while they just get a lot um so just kind of keeping it like relaxing and chill today um Yesterday was October 15th, so it was kind of like the last official day of um, the Positano season. So if you ever plan a trip, plan it before October 15th because everything's going to be open. Today we kind of notice that things aren't. Um, a lot of spots are closed for the season, but you know, that's okay. We were able to find some pizza, so um, happy is bringing some pizza back. Um, but yeah, like... I think this trip has been tiring, exhausting, so much travel, but honestly, memories for a lifetime. So um, we are going to get food and um, I will devour when it comes. And then, yeah, I will vlog some more when we get over to Naples. And I'm really excited to go back to Paris. I think that we should have cut this a little bit shorter and just like spend more time in Paris at the end of the trip. But, you know, 
now that we know that we love Paris so much, we'll spend more time um, in Paris in the next couple of years. So I'm really looking forward to that because I think there's just so much that Paris has to offer and the aesthetics are just so dreamy. I know a lot of people have issues with it sometimes, but I think it's just a beautiful city. There's so much to do, so much to eat and just dreamy aesthetics. And I'm really looking forward to spending more time there um, in the next couple days and the years to come. So I will see you um, later for now, but I will catch you on the other side when we go to Naples and Paris. <laughs> Hey babes, so we're in Naples now and your girl is definitely craving sushi and I found a sushi spot right there and I've never been more excited but plaza here and there. Now let me show you a cool castle. Gorgeous Capri right there. <laughs> Bye. 